I'm going to clean some spark plugs. These are out of the gold wing. Okay, they are dark and um, any white you see on that cone is just reflection of the light up above. They are pretty black in there and uh, wet with kind of an oily substance and so I'm kind of uh, cleaning them out a little bit with brake cleaner and air. Now I had them sitting in the corner like this with the uh, brake cleaner in there. I had all three of them in a corner and I had them soaking like that for a little while and I'm getting my fingers all full of silver colored anti C's. It is important to use anti C's on aluminum heads and that's why you got these really long threads on the spark plug because they they go in aluminum heads now here's the unconventional way of cleaning spark plugs is with a spark plug sandblaster and I can see the hate mail coming already but that's alright you don't have to do it you can just watch me do it on mine but you can see that darkness there. Now this doesn't fit real tight because this fits a bigger spark plug hole but that'll still fit in there. I'll hold it in there. Got a trigger on it. Got to put shop air to it. And of course a bag of sand media. doesn't take a whole lot. The only thing you're not going to get a whole lot between this electrode over the top here and the uh, and the insulator on that side. You won't get as much in there because you just can't get in there. But it buys you a lot more time and then you want to take your your air gun Clean it out really good. Don't bang on the threads, bang on, on this part. And I keep a large oversized sewing needle stuck in the bag here. I keep sticking it in the same spot. And I use that to pick around in here to make sure that there's no chunks of sand that got caught up in there because my luck it find a way to get out and uh, and they could um, more than likely just go out with the exhaust if a chunk of sand did get stuck in there but um, I'm just scared that it might get caught on the edge of the piston and and start scratching the cylinder walls Anyway, there we have it. It looks a whole lot cleaner than it was. Save you a few bucks and a couple of hours of time going to buy spark plugs for the thing. Now, since the spark plugs are out of the cylinder, I'm going to show my endoscope. I did some video on this but haven't uh, edited it yet and and posted it this is I just wrapped this around something I don't know what it was a jar or bottle or something well I think it was a tube of caulk to uh, give it that shape but it, it'll stretch out and, and, and hold its shape like you know like that but I'm gonna turn this thing on show you what this is that's a camera and uh, can watch it on the um, on the iPad give me a minute to turn the iPad on and watch it on the iPhone as well or any smartphone or any tablet 
this thing works on Wi-Fi so I gotta go to settings and go to Wi-Fi right now it's hooked up to my house Wi-Fi and uh, I gotta turn this little thing on to the on position that turns the Wi-Fi signal on it even turns the camera light on and now I gotta wait for the signal to pick up over here there it is this nightage because that's the brand name of this thing turn that on and that will uh, come up here now we're hooked up to that okay so now I X out of that page and I hit this shortcut right here which is goes to this camera and there is the camera looking up on the on the wall on the shelves up there let me pause the video here and get set up over by the the motor we're going to take a peek inside the cylinders now this thing comes with here's the box it comes in and of course it has a charging cable and you might be able to use this to download into your computer I'm not sure if that works that way or not it might but I download it into the iPad and then from there to the computer anyway it comes with a little miniature 45 degree angle mirror which I will probably use inside this cylinder hole comes with a little miniature magnet and a hook so these all come in this little capsule now I'm going to put this in there and I'm going to record and you'll see what I'm getting when I do that you're going to see what I'm getting here to start with going down in there and um, I'm going to start recording this and I'm going to set this down and I'll just use uh, the regular camera for the oh here's one thing we can do is take a snapshot of it there we just got a snapshot now we're going to record video it does not record audio so I'm going to leave the main camera on for the audio and I have never used this with the little magnet oh I mean the uh, the little um, 45 degree angle thing this has different levels of light there's a switch right here and I can change the, the light level with it there it's off since we're down inside this dark hole we just need the the smallest light level and it is recording I don't know if you can see any of that on the main camera but I'm going to put this um, magnet on, or this uh, 45 degree angle mirror on there. Looks like it's dirty though. I'm going to try to clean that mirror first. My shirt. I didn't know this it's, it's a threaded hole so I have to unthread this guide off of it I didn't know that I was trying to push it on there that's good these things won't uh, fall off then if they're threaded okay now let's stick it in there and see what things look like at a 45 degree angle I'm not seeing a whole lot. I guess the mirror is still dirty. Yeah, I can't see much with it. I'm going to need some practice with it. Because the mirror is still dirty. And I'm going to need like Q-tip or something to clean that, I think. A 
looks better now that it's not screwed in so far. Let's try that. Straighten this out some more. No, maybe it's not so much better. It might do better without light, but got to have light. Yeah, we can't see anything in there without light. Take that off of there and just put this in there like so. Bend this a little bit. Maybe. And I'm going to wind up cutting the video short on the endoscope thing because it's not showing me as much as, as I'd like to see. But we're seeing in there the engine is kind of carboned up a little bit. Try a different cylinder, the piston might be farther down. Maybe there, there's a little spot of something on the cylinder wall. At least we have a lot of good crosshatch pattern. Darkness is is that? I wonder what's going on with that. Oh, I know what that is. That's just the bottom. That's just that's just some oil or whatever, gasoline or whatever, just laying in the bottom, draining off the side of the cylinder. I hope that's all it is. Hope this thing's not pumping oil. Anyway, so much for the endoscope. Since these threads were full of um, anti-seize, I did spray that good with, with a brake cleaner and took a toothbrush and cleaned the, the threads off because I don't want the, um, the blast media to be stuck inside the threads and then uh, scar up the thread holes on the head. Of course, I should be checking the gap on these, but I'm not. I'm just going to trust that they were gapped good when uh, they were installed. Don't need a whole lot of anti seize, just a little bit around the front end. It'll work its way down and make sure you don't get any on the tip, of course. Eighteen millimeter twelve point. I don't have an eighteen millimeter six point. I didn't know that I was trying to find one. And that's how you clean a spark plug. Just don't even grab the thing way out here, just right up here. It's just wrist tight is plenty. These are all clean on the right side. I'm just going to guess that the reason the, they were dirty on the left side is from parking the thing on the center, I mean, uh, on the side stand. I'm just going to, I'm not going to sandblast these. I'm just going to uh, dry the oil out of them with the brake cleaner. So 
So these are all white, kind of a slight pinkish white. Like I said, I'm just going to blow these out with air. And not worry about sandblasting them. Now once again, some people are going to really frown on this and I'm going to get hate mail for using a sandblaster on spark plugs. But hey, I do it all the time, been doing it all my life. Um, you can get these sandblasters. I think Harbor's got them. I didn't get this through them. I got this through a place mail order in Ohio, a sandblast company called uh, TP Tools or something like that in Ohio. Anyway, um, you can find them online. And I got that one through them, but um, I don't know if they still make them. You, you can find these here and there. I don't know. What, but anyway, yeah, I've seen them at Harbor, but I don't know what they cost. But I like them. They're good to have for lawnmowers or whatever. Alright, thanks for watching.